Hi, my name is Taryn. I am with Elegant Upgrades, and today we're going to be working on this vintage roll top desk. This is a super easy look, so it's great for a beginner. Um, you do need a little bit of patience with this kind of piece, but aside from that, it's very simple. It's using minimal products, and it looks amazing when it's done. So first, as you can see, we need to give this piece a little bit of a clean because it was sitting out on somebody's porch for a while. So. I'm going to vacuum out the slats. That's kind of the easiest way to go about cleaning out all the slats, just with like a brush attachment. It helps pull everything up. And then I'm going over the entire piece with some liquid sandpaper. I like liquid sandpaper because it is a degreaser and deglosser, so it gives the paint something to stick to without having to do any sanding. Mind you, this piece isn't very shiny. If this piece was shinier, or had a thicker top coat on it, I would actually go in with a bit of a sand and just give it a little more grit. So for our first coat, we are going to be using blackboard. If you want, you can do painter's tape around all of the areas you don't want to touch with this paint. I don't like painter's tape, so I'm not going to. What I do like doing is using a flat angled brush and I'm going to round the entire piece with the black and you'll see me, I'll have my paint on my brush and I'll kind of offload a little bit, giving me more of an edge and then I'll go through and do the tight spaces with the brush. So it's a lot of dipping, swiping it and then kind of running it along those lines. But this paint is very, very easy to clean up while it's wet. So if you just keep a little um, rag handy, you can go back over the little spots that you get on places you don't want it and it just wipes right off. So it's super easy to do and then you're not causing a lot of waste with the tape. But again, if you're somebody who likes to use tape, not me, um, you can feel free to go over all of those lines and go around the entire piece and put tape everywhere if you like. So I'm just gonna do this over all the framework of this desk it is like I said very very simple and you just go around you do have to be just you know a little meticulous have a little patience um if you don't have patience this probably isn't the look for you <laughs> just go over the entire thing you can see I got a big swipe of black on there it's just gonna wipe right off so easy yeah if you let it dry not that easy so don't let it dry just you know use your I use um baby wipes actually I have like the Costco packs of baby wipes and I use them as I go so it took me a while to decide where I was going to put the black on the roll top part. Um, I decided just on this lower base because the roll top slides in and out of the um, groove there on the side that you can see. I didn't want to put paint there for fear that, you know, it would just be flaking off or doing that with so much rubbing against it. So I just chose to do it right on the base of it. And then these drawers were so easy. <laughs> I just didn't even do it clean just wiped it around the edges and then took my wet cloth and wiped it off so easy so in these parts i chose to do just this is a little detailed artist brush that's it just a little flathead artist brush it's super easy to get into these tiny spaces and it worked really really well this paint is so smooth like you'll see in the finished result there are no brush strokes so as I was going along, I decided the, or the wood looked a little bit too orange for me. So I was going to give it kind of a aged bleached look. If you want to just do a bleached look, just use Mellow White. I wanted it to be toned down a bit. So I'm using Mellow White with a slight bit of light yellow and Woodland Harbor. So that's making it just not as stark or freshly bleached. Because this is an antique piece, I didn't want it to look so new. You know what I mean? So anyways, we're gonna take, it's about a 50-50 blend. You want, when you are putting this wash on, you want it to kind of be a little bit drippy. So it's okay that it's getting on the white here because we've just done one coat of black and we're going to end up doing two. So we've got our base color on the black. It's drying the amount of time that we need it to dry. And while we're waiting for it to dry before we put on our second coat, we're doing the white wash on the wood. So everything is working out perfectly. I know it looks messy. Don't worry, it'll look amazing in the end. So this is literally just rubbing it on with a paintbrush. It doesn't matter what you could, you could use a rag if you wanted to and then wiping it back with a dry rag. 
And now, as you can see here, I'm going back in with my artist brush for my second coat of black. And this is going to give me the full coverage that I want. And we're going to be done with the black as soon as we're finished with the second coat. There are some pieces with these colors you can get away with one coat, which is super fun and awesome. This piece is supposed to be really clean and pristine and nice without any distressing or anything like that. So I definitely needed the two coats, but that is a fun thing when you just have to do one coat of paint. this is an easy process. You're just doing all of the same things all again. And now I'm just going to seal the entire thing with Chalk Mountain Hemp Wax. Now, if you were going to do an all over black piece, I would recommend sealing with the black wax. However, since I wanted to keep it two toned and I didn't want to have to do any cleanup, I'm just using the clear hemp wax and it's beautiful over everything. The black looks great. However, if you want to keep that really, really deep richness in the black, it's a really fun trick to use the black wax. But this, you know, this is easy and this is what we're doing. And wax is just a really nice, rich thing to do to wood because we're leaving a lot of this bare. It's just kind of kind of like revamp it and revive it. Even with that kind of bleach look that we have on there, it's still making the wood just so much more refreshed. You can also use this wax inside the drawers, on drawer glides, all that stuff. It helps with everything. It's just... It's amazing stuff. So once you get the wax on and you've let it sit, you're gonna wanna go back in with a lint-free cloth and wipe back all of the excess. Now, this is really gonna protect your piece and because it's water resistant, it's going to help if anything spills on the desk. So make sure that you are sealing your pieces. And here's the finished result. I hope you guys like this. I hope you learned something. And if you want to try out any and all of these products, you can find them at Chalk Mountain. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time.